Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to find the firmware version on the GC2. So I have my GC2 here and one important thing that you guys need to know about the firmware version is whenever you guys are upgrading the panel, whether it's uh, adding a keypad to it, adding a new cellular communicator to it, um, anytime you guys upgrade the, the GC2, it is very important to check the firmware version. Why? Because if you had if you have an old firmware version, whatever you buy may not be compatible with the GC2. So for instance, all the new LTE communicators, whether it's Verizon, AT&T, anything like that, they require the newest firmware version for the GC2, which I think is like 1.19. Now, if you have anything lower than that and you get the cellular communicator that requires the firmware version that's higher, it will not work with the system. So that's why if you have an existing GC2 uh, and you're looking to switch companies or anything like that, it's always very important to first check the firmware version to see if you even need to upgrade it to get a new communicator. Um, now, I'm just going to show you guys a quick way on how to do that. You are going to need either your master code or your installer code. Your master code is usually what you use the, to arm and disarm the system. Your installer code is what you would use to program the system. Now yours may be different. My panel is defaulted, so all the codes I'm using today are defaulted. Yeah, so all you wanna go ahead and do is I start off at my home screen, right? You have your date, you have security services, a couple of settings on the right-hand side. I'm gonna hit security. Then you go ahead and hit menu. Then you hit toolbox. This is where you can enter in your master code or your installer code. I'll enter in my master code, which is defaulted at 1111, and it brings up my toolbox menu. The only thing you need to do from this screen is hit the right arrow key and hit version. Once you hit version, you're going to see about the fourth one down. It says firmware version, and it starts to scroll. You'll see mine, once it finishes here, it'll say V for version 1.19. Now again, this is the firmware that you need if you're planning on adding an LTE communicator, whether it's again AT&T or Verizon. And um, if you're on anything below that, whether if like it's a, if your firmware version I think 1.9 or above, so 1.9 up to 1.19 in between that, you want to make sure that if you do get a communicator that it's a 3G communicator and they. For 3G communicators, there's a uh, AT&T 3G. There's Rogers if you're in Canada 3G, right? So mine automatically backed out. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to that same screen, but I'm gonna use the installer code this time. You'll see. I'm gonna hit Menu, Toolbox. My installer code defaulted is 1561. Let it read my finger. I'm gonna hit the right arrow key one time, and again, you just hit Version shows you the version on the fourth one down and uh, this is very important for you guys to have when you're thinking about upgrading the system if you guys are adding a keypad to it you also want to make sure that the keypad is on the same firmware version that the actual system is on if they're not on the same work firmware version they will not work together and that is a little bit frustrating for a lot of end users that um that get the keypad on or are wondering why it's not working most of the time it has to do with the firmware version and again, if you are not on the latest firmware version, 1.19, we also have a video and an FAQ on how to upgrade your firmware version on the GC2. For that, you need a, an updater tool or the updater cable. Yeah, and we actually have the files to download on our website. So if you guys need that, you can always email us at support at alarmgrid.com and we'll be more than happy to help you. And um, that was just a quick video on show you, showing you guys how to find the firmware version on the GC2. And again, like I said, if you guys have more questions, just email us. If you found the video helpful, make sure that you guys hit like underneath. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and enable notifications. That way, whenever we upload new content, you guys do get notified. I'm George with Alarm Grid. I'll see you guys next time.